It's been said that the only thing that keeps people awake more than coffee is your conscience. Well, what if your conscience could be eased by the perfect cup? That's what a novel company is marketing, a cup of joe with honest roots. Linda Aylesworth has a story. Canadian coffee lovers are increasingly demanding more than a heady aroma and full-bodied taste. They want to know that the people who grow their beans are being paid fairly. People like the Akka of Northern Thailand. High in the mountains in a place called Doi Chang, the Akka Hill tribe has been growing coffee for 20 years. But in spite of their hard work, discrimination and unscrupulous coffee brokers have kept them from rising out of poverty. These people, it's nothing worse than a dog. Okay, they look down, that's why, you know, the children, they're not to go to school. I may say, even T-shirts, they just look down at our people. Weecha Pramyong came from southern Thailand 10 years ago to help the Akka. But to really make a difference, he needed the help of an outsider. And her retired Canadian mining executive, John Darch. He's good. He's a kind man, you know. When I talk to Kun John, he never talk about money. He talk about, okay, he will find the way to help our people. I wanted to see if by taking the coffee to North America and introducing it that I would be able to add to what V. Chai wanted to do. So Darch created the Doi Chang Coffee Company and paid the Akka farmers beyond fair trade prices for their beans. That's fair trade plus 50%. And in addition to that, give them 50% of the Canadian company, which my family would fund 100% of. In just three years, they've earned enough to expand their production. This year, 800 tons of premium beans will be shipped to Richmond, B.C., where they'll be roasted and distributed to Canadian buyers, who with every purchase, help the ACA to help themselves. The school for about 300 children will be this side. The hospital, we are thinking that we are going to put that way. For the first time in their lives, such things are possible. After decades of being paid a pittance for their beans, the Akka are at last getting what they deserve. We never beg. We want to work for whatever we want to see. That's how we promise to each other. I was living a comfortable life. I could have retired, but there's a much greater feeling and passion towards this project than anything else I'd done before. <laughs> Linda Aylesworth, Global News, Doi Chang, Thailand. And that is Global National for this Saturday. I'm Carolyn Jarvis. Thanks for watching.